Hello everyone, and welcome to my ninth video. In this video, we are beginning a new series on the Java programming language. Don't worry, the Swift videos will still be coming out. But in this tutorial, we will learn how to turn a string array into an array of integers. This concept is heavily used in programming competitions, as well as in other computer science fields. So I'm in the Eclipse application, and we can go ahead and create a new Java project. So we go up to File, New, Java Project, Call this project anything you want. I'm just going to call it array conversion example. Create a package and just call this programs. And then finally create a class and I'm just going to call this um, string to integer array. And make sure you do click the public static void main box. You want that main method in your program. And first we have to create a uh, string array. So I'm just going to create a string array of grades. Let's call it my grades. And instantiate it using the curly braces. And I'm just going to put in some grades in here. So put 90. So as of now, these grades are in a string format. But if we want to manipulate data, we have to convert these strings into an integer. And I'll show you how to do that now. First, we have to create our integer array. And we'll just call this my numerized grades. Not the best names, but you can come up with your own. Uh, and you want to instantiate this to a new integer of size my grades.length. So this is basically saying that we know that the elements in my grades, which are of string type, aren't going to be the same elements in your numerized grades, but we are certain that the length of the both arrays are going to be the exact same. So that's why we can write this piece of code. Now we can create a for loop, and we want to make it for the conditional case that i is less than my numerized grades, because remember, the length um, uh, a length of an array converted to the indices is just going to be the length minus one but the fact that we already have less than is going to make sure that you're never going to hit the um, total length so then we can increment i and then uh, open our for loop uh, oh yeah I have to make sure my numerous grades at length and right now we have to go through each element of each array and then for our numerized grades, we are going to take the integer value of the current index of my grades. So how we're going to do this is like this. My numerized grades i is equal to, or you're going to assign it to the integer version. Uh, Integer.parson is a method that converts a string into an integer. And the integer version of my grades i, so like this. And let's hop out of here and then test if our program has worked. So if we print out our numerized grades at index, let's see, so index 0, 1, 2, if we print out 2, we should get the number 96. So I'm going to run the program and we get 96. So this is really helpful because in this case, we can try to uh, manipulate this number. So if you do my numerized grades plus 2, we should get 98, and that's what we get. But if we try to do the same thing with my grades, uh, let's do my grades, let's do 2 again, plus the number 2. Look, it adds it as a string. We, we all know that the answer should be uh, 98, but since this is a string type, if you add 2, the 2 is also going to be converted to a string type because it sees that this is a string type. So then it just adds uh, the element 2 to the string, which is not what we want. So this is how we can turn a string array into an integer array.